Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Why did I yell at that time? And I want to share with you guys this banana. Banana. <laughs> But oh my gosh, this banana bread recipe. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make some banana bread. Actually, I've been making this banana bread a lot because my husband eats it all gone. <laughs> what am I, a little kid? All gone. <laughs> gosh, I cannot talk. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making some banana bread and I wanted to share this recipe with you guys because it is so good. It's top secret. Just kidding, it's Martha Stewart, so you know it's bomb, okay? Like, and it's nut free, so if you don't, I mean, if you wanna put nuts in it. Actually, I think Martha Stewart put nuts in hers, but I never do. So yeah, this, this is my recipe, okay guys? <laughs> nut free banana bread, okay? Let's just jump right in, cause that's what you're here for, right? Hopefully you're following along, you're making this banana bread. You clicked on, you saw the title, and you're like, banana bread. Yes, let's make some. Okay, so first up, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350. I still have the receipt on this post-it, the receipt. I still have the, the recipe on this little post-it because I forget it every time. You think when you make a lot of banana bread, you will remember it, but I don't, I forget it every time. Okay, so step one, 350, ready, let's go. Should I show you guys how to do that? I don't think I should, okay. So you guys got your oven preheated, 350, great. Okay, so the first step, super simple. We're gonna get one stick of butter. Where's my butter? It's over there. All right, so to start off with, you have two bowls. I'm gonna put the smaller one off to the side. The bigger one, we are going to put one cup of sugar and one stick of butter, okay? And one stick of butter, I believe, is eight tablespoons of butter. So I don't have my regular just white sugar, I have cane sugar, so hopefully this works. I've never used cane sugar before and I thought I had plenty of sugar. Um, so. so we'll see how good this is, I don't know. But usually I just use regular white sugar. Okay, so you do one cup and then one stick and you are just gonna cream these together. So a fun tip I like to do is I like to save the butter wrapper and just butter the pan later on. All right, so you can do this now or you can do this later. Just butter the loaf pan. I don't know the measurements of this, but I believe this is a regular one. <laughs> so gosh, I'm a mess. And we're going to cream the one cup sugar and one stick of butter. Now you don't want your butter to be hard from the fridge, so I do take that out a night before, <laughs> the night before I make the bread. Um, if you are just following this recipe and you didn't know that, because I didn't tell you that yesterday, <laughs> um, you can melt the butter just a little bit, but not too much. And if you have a KitchenAid, you are awesome. <laughs> Use your KitchenAid. Or if you you are old fashioned like me because you don't have money for kitchen aid, just keep going until this is fully mixed. <laughs> okay, just keep going until it's fully mixed. Act like you do have a kitchen aid because it works better. Oh my gosh, my arm's good. Okay, keep going. Oh shoot, did I lose some? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I messed that whisk up. Poor girl, she is. She's seen better days, man. Okay. So here we go, we got it all creamed like that. <laughs> Doesn't look very creamed. Now we are going to get two large eggs. Now I get my eggs from the neighbor's house. I steal them from their chickens, just kidding. These are from Smith's. And fun fact, eggs are now $4, almost $5 for a dozen. So that's fun and fresh. Okay, we're gonna just crack two. Just drop freaking eggshell in there. Are you kidding me? Did I? Okay, you do. Just go searching for that because you don't want that in your bed. No, I didn't. Okay, let's just toss that over there. Wow, I'm not good at breaking eggs on camera. Usually I'm so good, guys. All right, now we're just gonna mix in the two eggs. Now again, you have a KitchenAid. This is much easier. <laughs> you don't. Gotta use some elbow grease. If you don't know what that means, you are too young. Oh, I just made a mess. Okay, so that's what that's gonna look like. 
So our three ingredients we're just going to put to the side and now we're going to grab the smaller bowl and this is where we're going to add all the whites, let's call them. Okay, so one cup flour and then and a half a cup, so one and a half. Gosh, I'm so all over the place. My cooking teacher from eighth grade would kill me right now. So we got one and a half cups of flour and we're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. Now a fun fact about baking soda, you don't want to use the baking soda in your fridge. <laughs> Martha Stewart says this in her video when she's making this bread. So you want fresh baking soda. I like to keep a bag around mine just to maybe keep it more fresh. I don't know if it helps, but yeah. And our last ingredient for this is just salt. I don't have regular salt because, you know, I don't do anything right, I guess. So this is one teaspoon of just Himalayan salt and it works great. I've been using this on all my loaves and it's totally fine. For the next part, I just use a fork just to kind of stir these around. You just want to mix them a little bit. You could use a whisk, that's more fancy, but I just use a fork to kind of, just to mix those babies around. Again, I am not a professional. This is just how I make my banana bread. So now you are going to dump all of those baking soda, flour, and salt into your butter, eggs, and sugar. And you're just gonna slowly mix. If you have a KitchenAid, this part you're gonna slowly add it to. But this is a little harder when you're doing it by hand. So you just gotta slowly add a few scoops at a time. I don't know why, but that's what the recipe calls for. Maybe it's because, you know, flour is a little special sometimes, but I think it's so you don't make a mess. And it's starting to look kind of like a dough or a cookie dough, like a sugar cookie dough, I guess. I'm just gonna shake that off the whisk. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I kind of just eyeball it at this point, but it's a teaspoon. Okay, so I didn't say this before, but I have these bananas on a plate. They look disgusting, right? They look like they're moldy, they're all white, but these are for my freezer. So this is how I make my banana bread. I get bananas that go gross and I freeze them. And then when I'm ready to make banana bread, I take them out of the freezer and I unthaw them. And then I just add these to the banana bread. Now it looks gross. You can use fresh bananas or ones that are starting to turn. Like I have over here, let me show you. So I have these bananas that are kind of turning and they'd probably be actually quite delicious in the banana bread, but I usually just use the bananas from the freezer. You can use either one. Um, the Martha Stewart recipe calls for non-bruised bananas, but I don't find a difference in the way I make them. So it's just preference, whatever looks better to you, I guess, right? You can just like literally rip off this part and then it just slides out. That's the best part is when they just slide on out. It looks so gross and the juice looks gross, but it's so yummy. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it is. So you have two bananas in here and you just give it a little mix. Okay, so this is the special ingredient. It is just yogurt. I do low fat yogurt, but the Martha Stewart recipe calls for sour cream. Now I use yogurt because I just think it tastes better. And that's the recipe that my cousin actually taught me. And I quite enjoy the yogurt better than sour cream. So it does call for a half a cup of sour cream in the recipe. I just do a few scoops of yogurt. I don't really measure it out that well and it doesn't make a huge difference if you are a little bit more or a little bit less on the half cup of yogurt. Okay, now you just mix it together <laughs> and it's gonna start smelling really good like banana bread. <laughs> This is the part where you could add nuts to it. You can add walnuts are most popular in banana bread. And that's when you would add them right now in the recipe. All right. And now we just go ahead and pour the mixture in the pan. It's really hard to do this angle. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so now that we poured our mix in there, we can go ahead and put this in the oven for about an hour. You do wanna check it with a toothpick because all ovens are different. So yeah, let's go ahead and see you in an hour. There's our yummy banana bread. Is it in focus? Can you see it? Ooh, it's so good. 
that's what it looks like when it comes out and you just let it cool down. I like to put butter on mine afterwards. Like I spread some butter, like I'll cut my piece and then butter on it. So good. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you guys have other recipes, other banana bread recipes. And if you guys have tried this recipe, let me know if you guys liked it. Anyways, thank you guys so much. See you later, bye. Okay, you guys, I couldn't wait to cut this. There's my banana bread. It smells amazing, it looks amazing. It's not the cleanest cut, but I was excited, okay? So, cheers. Mmm, that was good. That was way good. Cheers. <laughs>